I'm going to give a quick example of how to fill a hole or a gap using uh, just styrene and not any uh, body filler. Uh, in this case, the mounting holes for the body, uh, I've already started with, unfortunately, with uh, a little plug. And what I did was I took a sprue and basically just cut a piece of it off uh, with an exacto, or I just use this. And start with something like that. Just drop it in the hole and saturate it with uh, an adhesive, either a plastruct bondine, which is my favorite, uh, or 10X 7R, which is also a good one. That's this one. Uh, so now I want to fill in some of the gaps in around it. So I'm just going to get it really nice and wet. And this solvent uh, melts the plastic a bit. So you want to get it really just doused and let it sit for a minute while it softens the plastic. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to take a piece of styrene, scrap, and cut some little pieces off. And I'll use those as some random filler. Kind of into that big gap, into that big gap. And I mean really get this thing wet. We'll let that sit for a minute. Maybe uh, give it a few minutes, five minutes or so. All right, just a few minutes has passed. And taking a dull blade, and I'm just going to kind of force it into the hole, just pressing it, and add some more solvent and just keep pressing it in. Starting to get kind of mushy, which is what you want. All right, saturate it again and just let it sit for another minute or two. Sometimes what I'll do when I need a really thin piece is to take and melt this styrene using a lighter. Once it starts to melt in folds, you just pull it gently. And it creates a very nice thin piece that you can use. It's much easier to than if you're trying to cut something that, that size. And I'll take this in the other hole and I'll actually wrap it around so I've got a nice tiny little piece to put in there. See it's kind of oozing. That means it's soft and it's going to work its way into all the little recesses in there.
All right, we'll let this sit for uh, maybe 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes has passed, and we're just going to take a look at it here. It's still kind of mushy, which is good. You can really kind of work the material all the way in there. So now the styrene has become just this very pliable, mushy fill. What I'll do is I'll use this as a basis to see where I'm at. So I'll let this really cure and I'll um, hit it with some uh, maybe a Dremel to flatten it out or a file and some sandpaper and see what it looks like and get a nice flat smooth seam like I've got here, um, which I still need to fill a little bit in. but be a good first pass. I've let this cure for about 45 minutes and it feels pretty hard, a little soft in spots. So I'm going to take a Dremel and just take some of this off. Yep, still a little soft. may have taken a little too much off. And then you can hit it with some sandpaper. I usually try and hit it with a file first. Still a little too soft, I think. I'll have to come back and hit it a little later. But it's getting there. You get in there eventually we'll end up with one like this. So and after the final, I'll hit it with some rough sandpaper, like 100 grit, uh, just to really take down the material and get it as flush as possible with the rest of the body. And then work to uh, 200 grit, 220 or something. And then keep working until you get it nice and smooth. And eventually you'll have something that looks like that. This one has, still has a few little tiny gaps, but that we could go back with some more styrene if you wanted, or um, those are actually small enough where I might skim that with a little filler. Um, and essentially you've created a nice strong bond that's as strong as the body itself. Won't uh, pop out like filler will. Uh, so, there you have it.